and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Pike in the Path of Champions. Ask in Twitch chat who do we want to see next? Pike was the favorite, so let's go ahead and try it out. Like, so Pike is a champion that uh, could be pretty tricky for this Path of Champions because you know, you really need to be able to lurk with Pike, and you want to have lurkers and stuff. And you start with lurkers in your deck, for the most part. You know, we're starting with all Bilge Water, and besides Petty Officer, Chum the Waters, Bone Skewer, besides those, you know, all the rest of them are lurkers, and so that's pretty good. But the problem here is whenever you start adding in cards to your deck, when you go through your adventure and, and increase the amount of cards in your deck, it's difficult to find more lurkers to put in. Um, so that makes, you know, playing Pike kind of difficult. Um, however, looking at, or oh, let's see, this. Okay, looking at your reputation, uh, whenever you continue on, you know, whenever you play your champions, you get your reputation, you do different stuff. Level 8, you get a starting power. And Pike starting power looks incredibly strong. Game start, grant lurkers in your deck, plus 1, plus 1. And then it grant all your non-lurker allies lurk, and they become lurkers. So now you know, then you can continue to add cards to your deck and you don't have to worry about whether they're lurk or not for the units because then all of the units will be lurkers. So that is really, really strong. So the, the thing about Pike is once you get to level eight, then, you know, it starts really unlocking, you know, everything in your deck and, you know, uh, you know, your deck becomes pretty strong. But it's the first part, getting to reputation level eight before you get that power, that, that can be tricky. So let's go ahead and start our adventure though. We're going to be starting as always versus Lulu. Heading on over there. No mutators for our opponent. We'll go ahead and uh, see how we do. Okay. So we are already starting off with a power. And when you damage an enemy, reduce the reduce its power by the damage dealt is a strong power. I like that one. We have no rerolls to begin with, right? Like when you first start off, no rerolls at all. I don't really care about two Vanguard Lookouts. I don't really like GameStar Draw 2 either. So we're going to get this Enfeebling Strike. Okay, let's go ahead and... Let's change our loadout. Let's go ahead to Pike's Board. Yeah, the Sunken Shipyard. And we'll use that for our card back also. Pike has a cool board, cool card back. Um, I don't know who we'll use for... The Guardian, I don't know if there's really a great one for Pike. I guess the Monkey is Bilgewater. We'll just go use the Monkey. All right, let's fight. What do you got, sparring students? So you only have 18 cards in your deck to start with. Um, I'm going to just put the pike back so we can try to lurk the pike. Okay, missed lurk to begin with. But I kept basically one drop that could attack round one, and then the snapjaw swarm that could attack round two. Yeah, there's lurk. Wasn't pike, but we'll still take a little bit of lurk. So I'm not going to use the blood bait, even though it would make sure that we hit Lurk, because I want to draw Pike. And so I don't want to put a card back on top that's not Pike. Okay, we get a Hexite Crystal in there. Somewhere. I know it has uh, quick attack, but I don't even want to take any damage. Like, we're. We don't need that unit to kill them. So, we never got Pike. Once I sent Pike back. That's alright. It's the very first battle in the first adventure. Pretty easy. 
Yeah, Pike has his own animation. Uh, whenever you lurk. Yep, so we'll be able to tell. We can get a Nami? I think we're just going to do that then. We'll just take another champion. I don't know if we're really a very good Nami deck. We're probably not, but it's a, just a champion, right? Like, it has a really high ceiling. Okay, we can either go towards the Poison Puff Cat. Oh, well, I guess let's go to our reward first. For some reinforcements. Yeah, unfortunately, there's Rek'Sai is not a champion that you can get with your reinforcements. That'd be really nice if Rek'Sai was. Uh, looking at these, I like LeBlanc the most. LeBlanc's another champion that... There's some champions that you... Like, the support champions that you can just get, and they will can just win the round for you, and LeBlanc's like that. Like, we could just keep leveling up LeBlanc, and LeBlanc will be powerful enough to just win the round for us. All right, if we go this way, we get an item chest. If we go this way, we get a young witch. Um, I think I want to go towards the young witch. Round starts just get a get a puff cap. Let's go towards the young witch. I don't know what young witch is going to be, but probably something pretty cool. Okay, sending that back. Uh, I guess we send Chum the Waters back. but So these other cards I kind of want to keep because they're not Lurkers. So I kind of want to keep them and I don't want to put them back in the deck. I want to put like the Lurkers back into the deck. They're also not that great <laughs> of cards. Um, Alright, we'll just send it back. No attack token. No, if we had the attack token, would hit Pike. All right, but we hit a lurk. That's good. I'm gonna just save the two spell mana this round, uh, where we can have you know go like LeBlanc into Pike, and we can have Pike with a Bone Skewer. Um, two two. Quick attack. I guess I'm getting struck for two. Ow. I already forgot I had you, Nami. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, there's Nami. Man, they're already down to three. <laughs> I forgot how short like these early ones are. Aw, I like that bloody business. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that back on top. And then we will blood bait. And doing that so that we draw the snap draw swarm. I guess this also means that we're not going to get a puff cap, so that's good. But we draw the snap draw swarm for round so that then the pike will be on top. So that's the pike animation for lurking. But none of it's really that important because. They are super dead. The main question whenever we go through here is going to be, do we want to just turn into a LeBlanc deck, or do we want to try to stay a Pike deck? Because that's, that's the thing about adding these cards that don't have Lurk, is that you may need to just kind of be a deck that focuses on the secondary champion instead of Pike until you get to reputation level 8 for that new power. All right, so these cards aren't very good. I'm just going to take this one mana draw card and be able to uh, kind of go through the deck. I'll just take that. All right, Young Witch is a shop. When cast, shuffle two copies into the deck and they cost one. That's, like, kind of cool. Bloodbait draws a card. I love that, actually. Yeah, because that's a lurker, so that's good. And then also... The whole problem with Bloodbait is it usually takes up a 
um, you know, like you had to put the swarm back on top. I love that, you know, have it draw a card. That's cool. So we'll take that, and I think I'll just pass on the rest. I don't think we need any of those. Could take, you know, Monster Harpoon. A random card in the player's hand costs two more this round. All right. So Blood Bay drawing card will mess up if Pike's on top. Sure, but we also don't know if he'll be on top or not. Like we wouldn't have the information that'd be on top unless we specifically put it there with. Uh, all right, no lurk. Oh, never mind. We hit lurk, and it was Pike. The animation's kind of slow today, it looks like. So, I, w I would think that you would... Dr I'm not sure when you draw that card, honestly. That's what I was... You know, I don't know if you just draw the, the Snapjaw Swarm right away, or if you would draw something else. I'm not sure. Do we hit Lurk? No. You think it puts it on before we draw, so you think we'll just draw the Snapjaw Swarm? Alright, we'll kill the 4-3. So that's 3 damage for Pike. So I guess they just choose plus two costs like every single time, no matter what. <laughs> That's like the whole thing about this level. So they're like, let's add in plus two costs for stuff. I have seven mana. Let's just play this first. Get good overwhelm. I was gonna say take out a blocker, but they had another blocker. Okay, you're at 13. So you can go first. I'll make a 15. Then you can go 5, 10, 15. Again. Okay, so that will be lethal. I wish we could say none. I don't want any of these cards. You can't say none. Because these are cards are not any good. I, I mean, this is a 5 mana... 7-3. I guess. I guess that's better than an 8-mana 5-5 five, five challenger. <laughs> Gosh, these cards are not good. Why can't you pass? Why can't we have rerolls? Alright, this one at least we can leave. We don't have to take any of these. Which is good, because I don't want any. Um, any that say lurk? No. Reroll token? Yes. You can buy a reroll token. And. Deal two to an ally to grant enemies vulnerable and invoke. Eh. Eh. 
Yeah, it could have had. Yeah, it would have been zero mana ricochet if we had plunder and if we had reputation. If we had plunder and reputation. But. Eh. Alright, we'll pass. Head on over to the healer. Uh, what's our health right now? 23? Oh, so just perfect. Get to 30? Sure. Alright, Poppy. You can see how I was passing those. Um, I don't think that, like, watering down the deck and just buying just, like, random cards that are, like, okay, that are, you know... Okay, like, you know, I don't think that's the best thing to do. I think that for this kind of uh, mode, you want to focus on your champions and things like that. And you, the, like, adding cards to your deck can be a downfall. Or a downside. Down something. Definitely put you back. And then I guess this is a 2-3-4. I don't, don't love it, but, <laughs> you know, I want to be able to lurk Pike. guess. I think Poppy's harder than Lulu, so this is the hardest fight. Yeah, because I mean, your, your deck's definitely weaker also during this fight. Alright, we're on the Snapdraw Swarm up next. No Lurk. I guess we shouldn't just throw a Snapdraw Swarm away. I guess I'll play this Thorn of the Rose to be able to block Stone Stackers. Trade there. If I pass, do they play Lulu? Or, sorry, Poppy? That's the name of the card. If I pass, do they just play Poppy? Because if so, then I can chum the waters to Poppy and then challenge the Poppy. Um, otherwise, we just play, like, LeBlanc. I guess we can pass. We can save spell mana. That's good for Nami. Yay. Go look for the hero. Oh, we hit a pike. Let's go. So now we're going to have the death from below that will be able to kill a pike. Alright, sure. Our health resets anyway after this. We'll just play the Blanc. Save two spell mana. Um, now we'll play. Or attempt lurk. Embrace the current or be swept away. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Perfect. Oh, poor LeBlanc. That's such a weird emo. The Jinx one. I'm pulling my hair out over here. Alright, now we're hitting some lurks. Very good. Let's make this a night to remember. Oh, fine. Yeah. We probably kill them if we just simply attack out, but then again, we probably kill them by, you know, like I, like this is probably just over. We can just go stun. Yeah. Alright, no lurk. Alright, we are through Poppy. Jeez. So I hope Poppy's harder than Lulu, because that wasn't too difficult. Yuck. 
Why do we have to play stuff? Hmm. Guess. Hmm. I don't know. I guess monkey business? I do have a reroll now. I don't know if this is where I want to use a reroll, though. Because we can also just get, like, other cards that aren't any good, either. Yeah, three mana crowd favorite. I guess that's not so bad. Alright, we'll do that. But, again, these are not things that we want. Ooh. These are good powers. These are good powers. I think we'll take Reunited. Have our allies get plus one, plus zero? I don't know. All of our lurkers get, like, a bunch of plus one, plus zeros anyway. Maybe just round start grant the weakest ally plus one, plus one. That could actually be pretty cool. Um. Mm. No, we'll go allies plus one, plus zero. Okay, so we have Twisted Catalyzer. Where round star they created darkness. That sounds really annoying to deal with. Or all units have strike double my power. That's fine. We'll go that way. This way is also just like a healing, a healer, which we don't need a healer right now anyway. And this is a gold chest, which that's not great either, but we'll go this way. You said one attack kind of pointless? I don't know. One attack's cool. You thought that third power would be useless against Lulu with the round end grow plus one plus one? Um, kind of want to just keep Pike, to be honest. Maybe let's do that. Let's just keep Pike plus Bone Skewer and use Bone Skewer to put back Pike back on top to be able to lurk Pike. Yeah, we have four le regions. Yeah, our deck's not... Uh, our deck's not so good. Cool. Whoa, all units have strike double my power. Right, that's what that means. Right, that's what all units have means. So we're going to draw the Snapdraw Swarm? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we can take a little bit of damage. It's fine. Still have the two mana for my Pike. Oh, Death from Below. Alright, so we definitely want to play Pike first before Death from Below, because then that's how we can get two Pikes in play. Man, and we're hitting Lurk. We are really doing well this time. Alright, so Pike's a 12-3. 12-3 pretty big. It's only at 6 for leveling up. Trade there. Kill that. So now they're both 12 threes. I guess I could have played more units out, but. <laughs> oh, these spikes are getting ridiculous. Alright, so... <laughs> Crap favorite's pretty big. 
Um, we'll have we'll block you there. <laughs> this is gonna get huge. All right, so no. Oh, come on. Well, that's too bad. I didn't get to do that. It was gonna be 112 power. Okay, attack on in. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna have 112 power pike if they didn't cast that quick attack. I like Bloodbait now predicts or Sharkling has plus two plus zero. I like both these because they're lurkers, right? I like taking them. Um, I think I like the Sharkling just growing that more. Just getting more Sharklings in the deck. Let's do that. It's a nice one drop. Gold chest. Even more gold. Item shop. Yes. Item for the for a lurker. Regen. One health regen. Well, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that regen just doesn't matter, but it's a it's a lurker, so I'll just put it in the deck. Uh, when you cast someone one cost poro, oh, sure. Again, it's a lurker. We'll put it in the deck. Alright, so we can either go towards the item shop or the item chest. When any unit summons when any player summons a unit, give it a barrier, or game start all players summon mirror mages. Let's go to the barrier, I guess, and we'll go to the item chest. Yeah. 180 for a one health unit getting regen. <laughs> it's so useless, but it's just more lurk units. Make us hit, hit more lurks. Alright, send back, send back. And we'll send you back also. We'll just keep the one drop and send the rest back. Okay. Hello. See, regen can come in clutch here, right? It takes damage, and now it regens back to full health. Um, yes. I'm gonna play you. I was thinking about playing this and then having them playing crowd favorite next round, but I guess yeah, that's fine. We're not playing the LeBlanc. So no lurk. No, they get to kill, you know, they get to kill a couple of things for free. But we'll be fine. What form will the waters take? Now we got more more room for activities. River shape the land and give it life. Time to make an appearance. Bone skewer. Okay, so we're at zero right now. That's gonna be like eleven, or let's go like. Wait. Okay, so it's gonna be eight. I guess. Because I want to, I want to, you know, have you know, do fifteen damage, right? So I guess we'll do it like this: eight. Okay. There we go. Figure it out. 
That's 15 right there. So I'm down to 5. I get to draw two spells. A gift from the river folk. Water. The black rose blooms once more. What form will the waters take? Nature blesses her followers. I suppose I did let them kill my crowd favorite. Maybe I shouldn't have let them kill the crowd favorite. Maybe I'm kind of doing this wrong. Nature blesses her followers. Grant that <laughs> that spider plus two plus zero. Oh, the double attack. All right, hopefully we'll be fine. There are five. Hopefully we should be just fine. We're gonna have a pike on top. Yeah, what's up, Mordecai? Yes, we did. We finished Victor with Caitlyn, so we defeated both Nautilus and Victor, and now we got some extra time, so we're doing our very first run with Pike, facing Lulu right now and we're going through pretty good we're about to face lulu um these are good more lurkers with last breath rally that's kind of cool but i like this bloody business get a random four drop with it like that's a good one too um but i think we'll get this another sharkling last breath rally sure all right about to face lulu um, hero's horn draws a champion for that thing when I'm summoned, the strongest enemy and I strike each other? Oh, that's kind of cool. Sure. We'll get you be some, be some removal also. Heal three health. Okay, round start. Transform the player's strongest follower into a 1-1 one -one squirrel and silence it this round. Yuck. <laughs> no, we're not trying to avoid the use of Pike as much as possible. No, we want to lurk Pike if we can. Like that's that's definitely the strategy is to lurk Pike. It's it's avoiding the non-lurk cards as much as possible. Basically, this is a good hand. Because I like these these blood baits are pretty good for us now. All right, miss lurk there. And we got our good one drop. No. Then silence. Does it still have... No, yeah, it silences around. So it doesn't have... All those abilities. I don't have any lurk cards in my deck anymore, because they're all in my hand. What's up, Charles? Yeah, I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good as well. So there are things in 0-1 now because of our power of whenever we strike. Okay, just normal lurk. We have the enfeebling strike, so like we dealt one damage to it, so it decreased one power. So it's going to be the strongest enemy and I strike each other. So that will be the Lulu. All right, you have last breath rally. Cool, you go over there, and then I don't know. You just block that thing. Just trade over there. Wait, I can just have you block. Are you certain? The others, I am everywhere. I am 
Crowd favorite MVP. Okay, cool. Watching all the Path of Champions replays at the moment. Nice. I didn't I didn't really do any math of like exactly where I should put these. I just figured it'll probably work out. We can play the Nami first. Rude. Yeah, that's rude. Let's say we can play the Nami first and get plus one plus zeros for playing spells. Striking looks and stunning wit. This is so that's that's fifteen right there. Now we're definitely gonna want to snap draw swarm. So we can attack this round when we don't have the attack token. Embrace the current or be swept away. Six five. Poor last breath rally unit. Oh, this should be over real soon. So we'll stun the O1 so they don't get to block with that. Down to one. Still at one. Man, I kind of wish I... I should probably just pass there so we can Destin Poro and get like the cool Destin Poro animation. And then kill them the next round. But, oh well, we'll take it. GG's. Alright, so that's our first pike run. Ace and Lulu. Lulu seems pretty easy now after going through, after playing against Nautilus and <laughs> Victor and stuff. Now going back and facing Lulu. Aw, oh, A badges across the board. I have to redo this and try to get S tier badges later once we get some more powers and stuff. All right, so what do we get? We get a pickaxe. All right, so Pike will have plus two, plus zero, and we start with 50 extra gold. Also for our next one. All right, so there we go. So that was Pike's uh, Battle versus Lulu, the Pike Adventure versus Lulu. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments. Again, let me know, you know what are your favorite champions, any that you're struggling with. Um, you know, hopefully you're watching some of those others that I, that I face, like Nautilus and Victor, if you're struggling there, um, anything like that. But uh, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.